Hello, welcome back to another school year. I hope you had a good summer and you're ready to start the school year off. If you used Mastery Connect last year, you may be wondering how to transfer that content into your new course. I'm here to show you how we can do that quickly and easily. A common practice is to just copy your Canvas course from last year to this year. And if you've already done that, great. I'll walk you through what to do with your Mastery Connect assessments. If you haven't and you are starting with a new course like I am here, the best practice would be to not import in your Mastery Connect assessments. So one option would be for us to go ahead and go to import existing content. And then I will choose to copy a Canvas course. I'm going to select my 2324 course that I want to copy it from. And then instead of choosing all content like you may be used to, we're going to choose select, select specific content. You can still adjust the events and due dates if you need to, but we'll hit import and then you'll see this blue select content button appears. We're going to choose everything except for some assignments. So I'm going to click all the boxes. And then I'm going to use this drop down to select specific assignments because I do not want to include any Mastery Connect assessments. Kind of a best practice or something to make it easier for you in future years. If you make an assignment group for Mastery Connect assessments and put all of your Mastery Connect assessments in there, that will help you to do the course import. I'd recommend doing this at the end of the semester if you use Passback to Skyward because the things, assignments in this assignment group will not pass to Skyward. So you can leave them in your regular assignment or assessment as you normally would while you're teaching the course and then just move them here when you at the end of the term or year. For our, I'm gonna go ahead and just click all of these big folders and then I'll go in and uncheck my Mastery Connect assessments. I know this one is a Mastery Connect assessment and if you know of any others, you can expand this and uncheck any Mastery Connect assessments. If you are not sure and you accidentally import a Mastery Connect assessment, that is fine. I'll show you what to do if that is if that happens. We'll give this a minute to go ahead and import into our course. All right, you can see that our course copy has completed. So I'm just going to go to assignments and make sure that I didn't miss any Mastery Connect assessments. You would want to do this step if you have already copied your entire course over to Canvas and you didn't exclude the Mastery Connect assessments. We're just going to delete any that are in here, mainly because they are linked to our tracker from last year's course rather than to our students that are in our tracker this year. So real quick, I'll just go through again. I'm in the assignments tab, not modules. And I'm just going to delete any Mastery Connect assessments. Don't be concerned here. I'm not deleting the actual assessment that lives in Mastery Connect. I'm just kind of deleting that link to it um, from Canvas. So all of our assessments will still be there whenever I go to put them into this course. All right, so I verified that I don't have any Mastery Connect assessments that were automatically copied over from my Canvas uh, course copy. And I'm going to go ahead and go to publish my course. Now, if you are not ready for students to see any of this content, remember that Canvas has this new button where I can unpublish all modules and items. So that way, if students do log into the course, that they are not going to see any of my content. You can e easily publish it all or publish it by module whenever you are ready. That's going to take a few minutes, but you can navigate away while it is working. I'm going to go to our home page and publish. This is a good idea anyway because it's a commonly missed step that we forget and then all of our students won't be able to get in. So we'll go ahead and publish and then navigate to our mastery tracker on the left. 
you're going to get that blindfolded panda for the first time. That's completely normal. We can go ahead and click Link Mastery Tracker. We are going to choose to create it from a curriculum map. When I look in the available maps, since you've used Mastery Connect before, you'll be able to see which one you used. Make sure it matches up with the course that you are in. And then another good practice is to add your year to the beginning of the title, and then we'll click link. It'll take a few minutes for that tracker to populate. Right, you can see we have our tracker here, but there are not assessments in it just yet. To go ahead and add in your assessments, you'll just click add assessment and then choose my assessments. From here, I can go ahead and do the ones that I've used before or created. You can choose either one. But if these are the ones that I've used, I can just click add and add to tracker. And I can select multiple, but I'm just going to add it to that 2425 Utah 7, and you'll see that it's added to the tracker. The other cool thing is that it's automatically going to create that Canvas assignment for me. So if I go to Assignments, you'll see that that Lesson 68 Unit 3 test is automatically populated in that first assignment group that I created, Mastery Connect Assessments. If I need to pass this to Skyward, I'm going to want to move it into a different assignment group. But if you're not passing the grade to Skyward, you can just leave it right here and it'll make your process easier whenever you go to copy your course next year, next semester. I hope this helps. Have a great day.